Hello guys, in this lesson we are going to start with geometry and for this video we will focus on lines and angles. Let's just start with the different types of angles that we have. The first type of angle that we have is called an acute angle. It is an angle that is smaller than 90 degrees. So if we look at this sketch, we can see that the angle formed is less than 90 degrees. The second type of angle that we have is a right angle. and That is an angle that is exactly 90 degrees. And in sketches, how we show at a, an angle that is 90 degrees is we draw a little square block. And that square block says that this angle is 90 degrees. Our third type of angle is called an obtuse angle. This is an angle that is between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. So if I look at the angle X, I can see that it goes past the right angle, but it doesn't go to a complete straight line. So it is between 90 and 180 degrees. And the way we write it is the angle X is smaller than 180 degrees, but bigger than 90 degrees. The fourth one can be considered a straight angle or a straight line. What it means is the angle formed is exactly 180 degrees and that forms a perfectly straight line. Our next angle is called a reflex angle. That is an angle that goes past 180 degrees but doesn't go completely around to form a full circle. So it is smaller than 360 degrees. So a reflex angle is between 180 and 360 degrees. The next angle size that we have is called a revolution. This is an angle that goes completely around and starts where it finishes. So it's complete 360 degrees. It forms a perfect circle. We also get definitions within angles. So if I form a right angle and I split it up, then these two angles are called complementary angles, meaning they add up to 90 degrees. So for example, Q1 plus Q2 would be equal to 90 degrees. Notice how we show angles in geometry. We put a little hat on the letter of the vertex where the angles or lines meet. So that refers to an angle and Q1 is referring to that angle Q1 and Q2 is that angle Q2. You can also use the information of complementary angles or the information in the sketch to solve variables. In this sketch, we have a few lines. We have ABC that forms a 90 degree angle indicated by the square in the corner. And then out of that angle is a line going to D and a line going to E. I have one angle that is 30 degrees, another that is 20 degrees, and another that is indicated by X. So if I want to solve X, I say 90 degrees, which is the full angle size, is equal to 30 degrees plus X plus 20 degrees. And in geometry, when we make statements like this, we need to say what's the rule that we are using. And the rule or the information that we are using is complementary angles. And we can write it short. We say complementary, so comp or complementary, and we draw a little angle symbol. You always need to state a reason in geometry when we use something. So there must be a reason why this is true. 
Now I can simplify this. I add up the like terms. I move all the values over to the one side to get x alone. Therefore, x is equal to 40 degrees. The next rule that we can learn in geometry is called supplementary angles. Supplementary refers to 180 degrees. So these are angles that add up to 180 degrees. In this example, we have angle B1 plus angle B2. So B1 and B2, they are angles on this line. They are equal to 180 degrees. And the reason that we will use, we won't say supplementary angles. We would say angles on a straight line. So angles on a straight line is equal to 180 degrees. So if I want to solve x and this is a straight line, then I can use the angles on the straight line that are supplementary. So all three of these angles will add up to 180 degrees. The way we would write it is we can say 30 degrees plus 120 degrees plus x is equal to 180 degrees. And the reason, in, remember in geometry, we always need to write a reason. We say angles on a straight line. So that is the reason why this statement is true. Now I can add up like terms. And as I'm simplifying, I find that x is equal to 30 degrees. The next two geometric principles we can combine. That will be vertically opposite angles and revolution. So I can say that angle A is equal to angle C because they are directly opposite each other. And the reason I would use is vertically opposite angles. I can also say that angle B is equal to angle D. So B is equal to angle D. Because they are vertically opposite each other. And the last one is I can say angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D is equal to 360 degrees. And the reason is, it's a revolution. So angles around a point add up to 360 degrees.